New information tonight on pot sales. We're learning how many people buying pot may be from out of state. Marshall Zellinger going through data from a new report. And Marshall, it is staggering to think about how much pot could be bought in Colorado this year. Mike, this report, which is pretty lengthy, it's 32 pages long, it estimates how much pot is sold and consumed in Colorado. Real quickly, some brief stats for one in 10 Colorado adults is believed to use pot monthly, and in the mountains, 9 out of 10 people who buy pot are believed to be tourists. But as you talk about how much pot is being bought, by the end of the year, it's believed 286,000 pounds of pot will be bought. That's the equivalent of just more than two of these military tanks. Now, some of the data in the report we found to be lacking. Like this page, look at this. This is January tax collections in certain counties for pot sales. The rest the data is estimated based on that one month's worth of sales. What I don't understand is why are there estimates in this report when any of us can come to this website, the state marijuana tax data website, and look at the actual marijuana taxes received over the first five months of the year. One other bit of interesting information from this report. This is one week's worth of sales from one pot shop in Denver. And in that one week in March, 1,400 people bought pot with a Colorado ID. 1,100 people bought pot using an out-of-state ID. That's about 44% who bought pot from out of state. What I asked tonight from this report from the state is, why just one week at one pot shop? Why not multiple pot shops? Why not multiple weeks? And State tells me this is just meant to be a preliminary snapshot of pot data based on what we know right now, and that by the end of the year, there'll be a complete based on one year's worth of data, who's buying pot, where they're from, and how much they use it. Reporting live, Marshall Zellinger, 7 News.